Hey everybody, Drew Tracy here, and today I wanna to talk to you about marketing strategies for your small business, okay? Uh, marketing is obviously super important for your business, okay? I don't have to tell you that, but I do have to tell you that there's a lot of different tactics and strategies out there that just don't work, okay? Uh, it's not that they don't work, uh, period, it's that they don't work for you within your business, okay? I want you to ask yourself before we get into these uh, five tips that I'm gonna share with you, um, really, what is going to work for your unique business, not someone else's business, okay? Because uh, really, there's tactics and strategies aplenty out there that are going to be successful for anyone else's business, and you can look around and see other businesses implementing those with great success. But the only thing that matters, are using and implementing the ones that work for your business, okay? Because your business is unique, your network is unique, and the way that your customers react to you and their life experiences and uh, things like that are going to all lend themselves to the way that these strategies work for you, okay? So I'm not gonna st uh, share any tips and tricks and hacks with you in this video. I'm gonna share with you the uh, five strategies that I teach uh, my clients that are helping them to grow their business that help me grow my business, okay? Uh, let's dive into it. Uh, the first thing you need to know if you're going to uh, market your business, your small business, is that you need to be able to, t to tell a story, okay? Telling the story within your business is of utmost importance these days, okay? So uh, what, is TED, what do the good TED Talk uh, speakers do when they jump out on stage? Uh, a lot of them are telling a story. They immediately launch into something that captures your attention and allows you to really put yourself in their shoes so that they can set up the stage for a tactical training lesson uh, that is going to come in their talk, right? What they're doing is connecting with you. What they're doing is making sure that they have your attention and also that they connect with your psychology, okay? Your life experience needs to be able to uh, latch on to what they're saying so that you can apply it to your own life. And that's the power of what storytelling does, uh, especially in the TED stage, but also most importantly, in your business, okay? So you really do implement that in your business by telling your story in all of your content and also in your website and all of your other properties, okay? It's why so many people have great big videos on the first part of their homepage, okay? It's why people are constantly, uh, when they film videos like this, for instance, will lead in or at some point in the video, share a little bit about their story, their struggles, their fears, and their solutions. Uh, it's all to try to connect you as the potential buyer to why you do what you do and why your product is important to them, okay? All right, the second tip, that, the second um, strategy that I'm gonna give you is to uh, obsess over social proof, okay? This day and age with modern marketing as it is, with online marketing as it is, uh, social proof is really, really important, okay? Uh, it goes back to the idea that no one really wants to be doing something alone or uh, very few people want to be first adopters of things unless you set it up and it's a big event and everyone loves, uh, that's kind of a accepted practice, right? Beta testers is a good example of that. People like to kind of be in on the first ground level sometimes, but not in terms of purchasing a product, okay? People want to see credibility. They want to see that other people are taking the same actions. And so when they jump on the bandwagon as well, they're not alone and they're not going to be left in the dust and get burned, right? They are going to be a part of a movement and that's really the power of social proof, okay? So everything you do in terms of your sales pages, uh, the products you sell, the advertisements and marketing that you put out needs to have other people's faces on it that have taken the same actions. Uh, basically what it does is it allows your, per your prospective clients and customers to uh, be a part of the same group, okay? So that's, that's number two. Number three is to never, never stop teaching. Um, education-based marketing is huge these days, okay? And it's not a fad and it's not going away because honestly, it's, it goes way back to um, the fundamentals of what makes a good business work, okay? It's the try before you buy thing. It's the, um, you know, try it, uh, free trial, and if you don't like it, you can get your money back, right? Or, you know, not pay at all. That type of thing. It's a no commitment type of situation where you become the source and the authority and the go-to for people who are wanting to consume products and services that you're offering, okay? Uh, if you can over, over deliver and give people content and training and help, uh, you really put yourself in a position to be the one that's going to uh, be there when they're ready to make a purchase, okay? Now, it might not be today, it might not be immediately after you help them and hold your hand out and say, do you want to purchase? But later on, 
you've burned your brand and you've burned uh, your credibility into their minds and they're immediately gonna return to you or recommend you, okay? That's really the power of getting yourself in a position to be able to teach and educate, okay? So at any point in your business, if you're wondering what type of marketing you should be doing, it's education marketing, okay? That's what's gonna work and that's what's gonna help you sell more products or sell more services, okay? Um, the next one is to invite and inspire, all right? This is a big uh, passion point for me, especially when I get to teach my, my clients and my customers because uh, for a long time, I tried to get leads, tried to get people to do things that I wanted them to, okay? And that's all well and good after you've converted and, and after you've built a relationship. But in terms of getting people into your business and your sales and your marketing pipelines, you really need to be taking a much different approach, okay? So inviting and inspiring people is the process that I take, and it's a process that has worked very, very well, okay? So basically, it's that you don't try to capture leads, it's try, you try to invite people to become leads within your business, okay? You invite them to take part in your business at a level that they're comfortable with, and you over-deliver, and you educate, and you teach them, okay? And then, ultimately, you inspire them to be better in their lives, to be better in their business, to do the things that are going to make a difference in their lives if they should purchase your project or your product, right? Or your service, whatever it is. Um, basically, it's the idea that you say, hey, I have what you need, and here's a bunch of free stuff up front. And then, oh, yeah, if you'd like to uh, take your education or uh, learn this more, uh, or more uh, thoroughly, then I'd like to inspire you with these stories of success, inspire you with what your life could be like if you did convert uh, on this product or you took bold action on the free content that I've given you. And um, all that to say, if you'd like to be a part of this, please enter your email, right? Or please uh, contact us, okay? That process in itself is, uh, there's a lot of moving parts in it, but it's really, really powerful in terms of you inviting people to become leads and filling up your, your marketing pipeline with uh, fresh leads that you can then convert into paying customers, okay? All right, and the fifth and the final way that you can uh, be able to grow and market your small business this year is to um, basically never really stop teaching, never really stop um, obsessing over social proof. All the things we just talked about, do it all over a period of long, a long period of time. Okay. So what a lot, this is what I call uh, keeping the romance alive. Okay. So what if you, you've done all this work to convert a lead? Okay. Let's just use that example. And you've got someone who's shown an interest in what you're doing and there's a genuine interest there in uh, uh, learning more and ultimately converting, right? Uh, what do you do after you get them as a lead? Well, what most people do is that they don't do anything. And that's one of the biggest mistakes I see. It's that they spend all this time, uh, uh, resources, and energy on their marketing and attracting people, inbound marketing. Uh, and then they get this big email list built up and they don't effectively communicate and convert those people afterwards, okay? It's like any relationship. Uh, you go on a date and you have to continue to uh, reveal yourself, make yourself vulnerable, share things about yourself, and even well into the relationship, should it go well, you're consistently keeping the romance alive by being there and sharing yourself and sharing your experience, asking questions and being helpful, okay? So it shouldn't be any different in your professional relationships with your leads, okay? Treat your leads like real people because that's what they are. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. That's the five tips that I have, uh, the five strategies rather, that I have that are going to move the needle on your marketing in your small business this year, okay? If you want to take this further, I got a uh, free training series that I offer uh, in my YouTube videos here because it's been powerful and people are responding really well to it. Um, it's called the five predictors, of, five predictors of Online Marketing Success. And it's a free training series that I offer um, in YouTube here and it's down in the comments below, okay? Basically, it's uh, videos are gonna be delivered over the course of five days to you uh, in a free training video format that you can learn um, all the strategies we talked about here more in depth plus more, okay? So if you really wanna take your marketing uh, to the next level this year, uh, please, please go take part in that. And if not, don't worry about it. Just hit me a comment, hit me up in the comments below and say, hey, uh, give me some um, problems that you're having, maybe some wins that you're having in your business with your marketing. I'd love to hear it and I'd love to meet you. So please comment down below. And if you haven't yet subscribed, uh, and that's the end of my spiel. So in the next video uh, will be 
uh, throwing that out in the next couple uh, days here. So keep an eye on the, on the channel. And uh, as always, go out there, market your business with integrity and uh, grow your business uh, strategically with your systems and your processes, okay? So I'll see you in the next video.